Hey child, and welcome back to my channel. First things first, long time no see. Listen, life been life, and so we had to shut the camera down, but we back. And we're about to do something that I'm really excited about, and that is share with y'all the things that I am loving this summer, whether it be for my skin, my body yada yada, my hair. I'm getting ready to share with you all the things that I have been splurging on now. I usually don't do things like this. However, y'all know I am a new mama, and the thing that has been keeping me sane is the ability to spoil myself. I'm at home a lot with this baby, a lot trying to work and take care of this baby, a lot. And honey, I'm going crazy, and so, I've been lifting my spirits by going shopping. <laughs> so I'm gonna share with you some of the things I've splurged on that have been absolutely worth every single dime. And stay tuned because at the end of this video, we have a very special giveaway. And with that being said, let's get this video started. And because I haven't said it in a while, let's see it. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Hey, child. So I'm actually going to do this in four different segments. I'm going to talk about health and wellness, things that I'm loving, things for my skin that I'm obsessed with, things for my body that I can't live without. And I'm gonna start this thing off with the reason that most of y'all know me, and that is my hair. Ain't she growing? I Child, this is some weed, but anyway. All right, so let's get into my hair care loves. Now, let me say this. Just because you don't see it in this video doesn't mean that I don't love it. This video right here is just focusing on things that are favorites of mine that I've been flocking to a lot over the last couple of months so let's start with shampoo there's two shampoos that i have been absolutely obsessed with as a moisturizing shampoo tgin this butter oh, child, i'm about to talk about some milk the moisture rich sulfate free shampoo i am um, all the way down to the bottom shot i have been wearing this thing out as far as shampoos from tgin goes i don't think they get enough love like on the internet i don't hear people talking about them enough but this particular shampoo is worth every single dime it cleanses my hair without stripping out its natural oils my hair still feels soft it actually feels moisturized even though i've cleaned it and it does still feel clean so as a moisturizing shampoo baby this is my boo but as a clarifier honey Ajua Beauty sent me this, which is their Blue Tansy Clarifying Shampoo. They sent me the entire collection when I was big pregnant last year. And honey, I was tired. I just, I couldn't put together the strength to do a whole video. So I've been playing with a few things off camera. And let me tell you this, as far as a clarifying shampoo goes, this is the best one that I have ever used in my natural hair life. It gets my hair really, really clean, but it does not strip my hair. And usually when I think clarifying, I'm thinking super deep clean, like Dawn dishwasher liquid, honey. Y'all remember when people was going crazy on the internet using dawn we thank god for deliverance honey we got things like this now you ain't you ain't got to do all that okay you ain't got to put no dishwashing in your lid this right here best clarifying shampoo that i've ever used is like down here now i absolutely love it like she is clutch next after shampooing of course we got to talk about deep treatments which brings me right back to the blue tansy collection y'all know i'm going through postpartum shedding my edges they exited the chat i'm trying to manipulate the style and make it look full but anyway when it comes to strengthening my hair this does the job it is really moisture protein balanced um uh, it's a little bit more protein than it is moisture for me but as far as strengthening my hair and making my hair feel healthy even though it's going through a very fragile time this has been amazing and you do not need a lot. She's super thick, like thick, 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 thick. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I've been digging all up in this container. This, this, listen, I am obsessed. Even though they sent it to me, I will continue to buy it with my own money. This is bomb. So, since we talked about moisture protein, let's talk about straight up moisture. I actually used up my favorite moisture mask and that is the curl smith double cream deep quencher i've been talking about that for a long time and i i listen when i love something i love it and that thing i love it's real thick so you do have to use a lot of water when you're applying it you do not have to use a lot but i'm telling you that particular deep treatment chef's kiss and child, I'm trying to keep this organized by going through like my actual wash day scenario, you know, shampoo, deep treatments. Then of course we're gonna go into the leave-ins. So I got two that I've been playing with a lot. The first one, y'all already know what's up. Whether I'm paid to talk about it or not, baby. Untied or not from Trey Looks, that thing is clutch. Um, but this is my twisting, braid out type of leave-in because it's really, really thick. And so I, I don't really like to use it for my washing goals, but as far as twist outs and braid outs and things like that, this is my number one leave-in. I don't care 
where if I'm paid or not, I'm telling you, this thing is bomb. But when it comes to my wash and goes, I prefer a lighter, leave in one that is a little bit lighter in consistency so that my hair can actually absorb it versus it just sitting there and then you put a gel on top and then you end up with a flaky mess and then y'all be complaining about the wash day like you do with TPH. So that's why I prefer a looser leave in. So I just re ups on the Curls Blueberry Bliss leave in. She is amazing. It is moisturizing. It has a lot of slip. Y'all know I like to put a cap on top of my leave in and let it sit for a while before I style. So when I do that, this absorbs into my hair beautifully. I don't expect flaking like I do with other leave-ins for wash and goes this is bomb which gets me to my stylers when it comes to mousses I pretty much have stayed the same I experiment with a lot but my number one mousse on the market is this one from design essentials it's the almond and avocado not only do I do twist styles with it I can actually do wash and goes with it it makes my curls pop it leaves my hair moisturized it doesn't make my hair hard sometimes when I use mousses for like wash and go styles I find that not only do I lose definitely Definition, but like three days into it my hair is super dry I don't experience that with this this is the best mousse like seriously she bomb and the last thing gel so I actually have pulled away from using wet line y'all know I used to say that was my toxic baby daddy that it was three dollars but you know you keep running back to your man why can't I keep running back to my gel but as I've become a mother I've been trying to look for things with healthier ingredients it ain't gotta be top of the line but I don't want to be in the garbage can either so I have three different gels that I've been gravitating to a lot when it comes to my wash and goes. Number one, it's not labeled a gel, but to me it is, and that is the B Girl Honey Curl Custard from The Do. When I use this, my hair looks good for six days, and I rolled it out to the ninth day. This is fire. I would definitely say use a lot of water because the more moisture you use, the softer the hole. If you put this on damp hair, baby, she get rock hard, like crunchy. Like, and that's not really my preference, but when I do use a lot of water, even put a light leave-in underneath it, this thing has an amazing hole, great definition. My hair looks amazing. So she, after the first use, became a staple. Next is two gels that is really familiar to y'all from my channel, and that is Curl Days and the main choice cheers gelato when it comes to curl days it's the most comparable to wet line not quite but it's close enough like it gives me whole it gives me shine it does a really good job my hair lasts and then with cheers gelato it's not the firmest whole but when it comes to definition that thing is on point like my curls just be popping and it's because it got like that protein in it that makes your hair like really really look defined and i know that's not for everybody but i absolutely love it they actually don't have it in store anymore but uh um, you can get it from the main choice website i bought when i found out that they was leaving the store i went to sally's every day until i stocked up and i was like honey seven dollars going to give it to me but yeah those are all of the things that i've been gravitating to a lot offline this summer i haven't been able to record as much hair content as i want to so I've, since i've been just doing the same thing by myself in my private time that is what i have been using in my private time so since we got done with the hair let's get into some health and wellness stuff all right, so let's get into health and wellness. It's just three supplements that I have been leaning on heavily. Uh, well, actually it's four. One of them is gone and I will tell you about that in a minute. But anyway, three, four, what's wrong with me? Let's get into X amount of supplements. All right, let's just go ahead and do that. Number one, I have been wearing out Mega Food, the blood builder vitamin. So what has been going on is I am severely anemic and I got so caught up in motherhood, making sure my baby was good, that I wasn't taking my vitamins like I was supposed to. And that led to me getting back into my alopecia areata journey. Y'all know I've talked about it. I got a ball patch in my head. And in addition to uh, postpartum shedding, I'm dealing with the hair that is falling out in association with my anemic. So I started back taking these July 1st. Mind you, my ball spot popped up in my head in May and baby, she was baby smooth bald since then. Um, but once I started back taking this, my spot actually has a little bit of peach fuzz. I'm actually going to show y'all pictures and stuff later. I just want to have the whole journey together to actually have documented proof that baby, despite what the doctor and her stylist say, my hair can grow back. <laughs> so yeah, I have been taking Mega Food Blood Builder to help with my anemia. It is a vegan formula made with beets, oranges, and broccoli as opposed to artificial iron. This is amazing. So if you are anemic, talk to your doctor about this. This thing is 
purely life. Now, I do have two supplements from Home Nutrition that I've been taking and that is associated with weight loss. And that is number one, the daily cleanse. This just helps me to make sure, for lack of better words, stay regular. Next. Flatter me. So with this particular supplement, it has enzymes in it that help you with digestion. And I find that when I do take Flatter me, instead of feeling sluggish after I eat, I actually feel really, really energized and it helps me with my weight loss journey. So yeah, if you're looking for something to help you with digestion, keep you on that little flat flat, these two right here, everything. And then the last supplement, honey, I don't have it because I took it all. And that is Goli's Ashwagandha. I, I've been talking about that. that it helps you with your grown woman situation. Now, honey, not only does it help you with relaxation, but do your Googles. It helps you uh, uh, as women. It helps you to to to, to um, desire some things. And I needed a little help with that after I had my baby. I'm trying to say this in the most politically correct way. After I had my baby, I was dealing with some hormonal issues, and quite frankly, I didn't want to be bothered. And so, yeah, when you're married, that ain't a good thing to be. And so I started taking ashwagandha and it helped me to 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 be the one that started the bothering. Okay, it, it works. So yeah, ashwagandha, I have to go re-up. I actually made an online purchase from Ulta, got to go pick it up. Next! Okay, so when you talk about the hair, when you talk about the health, let's talk about this skin. So I have a bunch, and I mean a bunch of new skincare that I've been playing with, especially a whole lot of good molecules, but I've only been using it for like two weeks. And to be fair, you need to use the skin skincare product for a while to really see results and so I don't feel like it would be fair or right to get on camera and say oh this is miraculous for your skin knowing I only use it for two weeks so far I love it but you know let me play with it a little while longer before I give you that review but I'm going to show you some things that have been in my repertoire for some months some of this a couple of years and it has been everything number one I talked to y'all a while ago about CeraVe um, the hydrating cleanser so now I actually use the hydrating cream to foam cleanser She's down here. It is time to re-up. I'm the type of person that with my hair, I try a whole bunch of new things. But with my skin, listen, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And so while I'm open to experiment a little bit, honey, she ain't failed me yet. So why am I going to be rid of her? So I do cleanse my face still to this day with CeraVe uh, Hydrating Cream to Foam Cleanser. This is an amazing cleanser. It cleanses my face without stripping it. Um, it doesn't give me any skin sensitivities. Like, I really, really do love this. And it has a great price point so she clutch so speaking of a uh, uh, great price point that was probably the only uh really uh really cute price point the rest of this is giving rich auntie first up dermalogica's daily micro exfoliant like seriously i love this i don't use it daily because i mean even though they say you can to me i don't feel a reason to be exfoliating daily like no like and if you're still using st ives baby come on up just stop putting the rocks on your face but anyway they say this is just enough to use daily since i have been using it i've been using this for a year i got it in may of last year and i've been continuing to have it in my stash since then i have seen a glow up in my skin my skin is more radiant it looks a lot better it's a lot softer too so as far as exfoliants goes i actually really really like this next is two items from drunk elephant this is the frambles glycolic night serum and this is the proteiny polypeptide cream in combination together this makes my skin look incredible i did a live uh maybe about a month ago and y'all was talking about my skin these were two of the items that i've been using the glow up the shine the moisture everything now she's she's costly but in my experience this this is totally worth it honey she got a stain on it i i, I use my stuff in real life okay and sometimes it get dirty but i'm telling you she is bomb as far as the, uh the night serum and the moisturizer they are good and then there's one more thing that honey i was introduced to this and i was like let me be the crash dummy for everybody because of the price point but baby, this, this, it wasn't no crash involved. It was worth every penny. This thing is clutch. And this is the Hydropeptide Hydrolock Sleep Mask. After you do your nighttime skin routine or whatever, you put this on last, you let it stay overnight, and then you rinse it off in the morning. When I tell you the moisture, the, the softness, this is just like, if I was to compare it to anything, I would say out of pop artists, this is Beyonce. Do you understand me? This is Janet Jackson level moisture. Like seriously, this is top two and then she ain't number two. Now she coughs, okay? Now I'm just gonna be honest, she coughs. But this 
is amazing. Like my approach to skincare right now is because of my age, I'm 36. I don't really have no issues with my skin, but at the same time, I don't want no issues with my skin. So I'm trying to be proactive. As far as proactive goes, this is everything now. With the price point, I was like, baby, you, it better be good. But you use such a small amount and you only use it once a week. So it stretches as far as um, how much you're using. So it's totally worth it. This is an investment. But baby, you will get your return. This is everything. Now, that is the end of my skincare stuff that I am raving and obsessed with. Let's get to the thing that I have been loving so much. And that is body care. Body, yada, 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 yada. All right, so we are at the last in my absolute favorite category body care y'all seriously since i had my baby y'all know i am working from home he's here with me he doesn't go outside the home for child care so literally there are days where when i'm at home the only people i see is him and my husband and if my husband is working outside the home it's just me and him a lot of times and so the only time i get to myself on those days are in my shower i will take an extended shower just to do some things to revive myself because not only am i working from home got a new baby ain't getting a whole lot of sleep and breastfeed too child life be stressful okay and so to just have that moment to just do something sweet for myself i I need it right now, okay? Let's just be being honest. I need it. And so I'm going to share with you some body care items that I am obsessing over. There's a whole lot more, but I'm just showing you the things that over the last month, I touch it on an almost daily basis. And so, of course, we got to start with the thing you wash your tail with, and that is Whey Body Cleanser. I got it in the Melrose Place scent. Child, when I say you open this up as soon as you lather it up and put it on your body and mix it with that warm water, it is such like a spa feeling. Now, it is heavily scented when it comes to perfume, but it smells good. Like, it smells like a luxury perfume. I got this for Mother's Day. She down here. Now, I do use other stuff, but this is the one that I flock to the most. This is so good. The lather, everything. Child, oh, I can't say enough. This is my favorite luxury body wash right now. Seriously. This is bomb and this is especially bomb in combination with my body scrub, which is also from the way. And this is their St. Bart's Sugar Scrub. Now, I'll be honest with you, I accidentally got it in my mouth one time and she tastes good. And I know somebody judged me right now, but don't judge me, judge your mama. So look, when it comes to this, the sugar in this is so finely ground together that when you're scrubbing yourself, it's a gentle exfoliant versus something that's a little bit more rough like i love tree hood like seriously but it's a little bit more abrasive this one is a finer sugar so it's not as abrasive but it's very much so effective the smell on it is amazing i haven't used the original one but this saint bars one is their newer one it smells so good it feels so good y'all i'm so obsessed with this hold on so obsessed that i need another one like seriously when i got this for mother's day i was just like oh let me try this out and i'm so glad that i did it's an instant staple i will never not have this in my house the packaging is cute uh, let me stop talking about it y'all these together everything now another staple of mine is sweet spots lab this is my feminine cleanser y'all know i was using the honey pot and i absolutely love the honey pot but like i told y'all the pumps will stop working and so that's what made me look elsewhere so i there is a a, a user on instagram is salt bay or salt.xo she makes a really good yoni cleanser but the thing is because she's smaller as far as the company goes it sells out real real fast and so i'll be without it and so this is the one i actually love you can actually go into Ulta and pick up so cleansing but moisturizing at the same time honey it's real sensitive down there and I need you not to drive me out uh-huh so I do get the sensitive one it's fragrance free love 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 this stuff something else that I'm loving the necessary body serum I put this on before my lotion it's a, a hyaluronic acid treatment and I find that my skin is so soft and so moisturized when I use this before I don't like to mix it together I like to put this on first and let it absorb into my skin like seriously so soft so touchable like feeling real plump and juicy over here you understand me this body serum absolutely love it and it's a clean beauty product from sephora so we love that so i talked to y'all about this last summer i only use it in the summer and the lights are bright so you probably can't see it but this is the kapari pink souffle body mask so the reason i got it last summer was because it kind of minimizes the appearance of cellulite and it helps the skin to feel so soft and it's a detoxifier because it has all the clays in it so i only use it in the summertime just because that's when i feel like i need it if i'm in the winter on a hibernation well, i ain't tripping off that but in the summer come on out 
out. And so one particular day, y'all know I use aluminum free deodorants. That's been my thing for a couple of years. Um, so in addition to helping with the appearance of cellulite, I put this under my armpits because it says detoxify. And like I said, it got all them clays in it. And that's what you do if you're new to the aluminum free world. Honey, first of all, it's summertime. Should you really be experimenting? But if you are going to experiment, make sure you do a detox mask with clay first. You want to do that every day for about two weeks to help your body adjust and it'll help to kill like any excessive bacteria or something like that. Don't quote me on it because it ain't science but still I find that when you do it it does help and so I use this as my clay mask. Usually I use Mega Babe but since this was already here and I was out of Mega Babe I tried this amazing like it definitely helped my skin to shine it felt a lot cleaner and smoother and it did detoxify my armpits but then also it does help with the appearance of cellulite now the, i mean i ain't tripping off that it is what it is honey i got fat on me and that's what it is but if you want a little bit of a smoother look this does help so i bought this with my own money from ulta and yeah it was worth every dime this is bomb i got three more moisturizers and then we done number one philosophy amazing grace i have the firming body emulsions I don't know about firming body, but as a moisturizer, so thick, so creamy, absorbs into the skin, smells good. If y'all know anything about philosophy, they come hard with the scents. And so this one, absolutely love it. If you're looking for one, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound, honey. Then there's one that it smells good, but it don't really moisturize that well. And that is from EOS. This is the shade uh, the Shea Better. Honey, I was gonna say Shea Butter. This is the 24 hour moisture body lotion in the scent Vanilla Cashmere. Now, I told y'all I joined the group uh, Since You Smell Good on Facebook just to uh, learn more about fragrance because that's something I become interested in and watching my friends. I'm like, y'all wasn't even tripping on perfume until y'all. And so I wanted to learn more about it. And so when I joined that group, they kept raving about this lotion. Yeah, you do get a little moisture, but because of the smell, it helps to amplify, in my experience, the smell of some of my floral perfumes some of my fruity stuff once you put that on top and layer it together it smells so good and it's like eight dollars so you know we love that and the last body product the fenty skin body butter this stuff is bomb like listen originally i was like that ain't worth the price tag but once i got it and started rubbing it in i saw what all of the madness online was about so soft so creamy it leaves your skin shiny i love this stuff it was worth every dime it's the only thing at this price point that i go back and get multiple times this is amazing like seriously she bomb and because this video is long enough i actually have some perfumes that i wanted to talk to y'all about but i'm actually going to save that for another dedicated video because listen because i've been watching denise Adore, i done became obsessed with fragrance if i'm feeling bad i'm gonna buy me a fragrance if i'm feeling sad i'm gonna buy me a fragrance if i'm feeling happy i'm gonna buy me a fragrance if i just feel like it i'm gonna buy a fragrance and so i want to save that for another video now don't get me wrong this is not becoming a fragrance channel you might hear from me once a year twice a year tops whatever and i just get it to all to you at once but i have been loving fragrance and so i'll share more about that journey with y'all in another video so like i told y'all in the beginning there is a giveaway coming up and here's the thing a lot of the things that i have been toying with experiencing luxuriating in they are in the rich auntie category meaning they aren't drugstore prices they ain't real expensive but at the same time to some people it is and i know that at a certain point in time if you had told me that i would own baccarat rouge which is a, a more upper echelon perfume i would have told you no it wouldn't have seemed accessible to me if you would have told me that i go drop 42 dollars on some lotion just because i feel like it i would have told you that wasn't accessible to me so to be in this position i feel so incredibly blessed now don't get me wrong i ain't rich by far okay <laughs> we, ain't, we ain't even gonna perpetrate i ain't rich but i'm blessed though <laughs> and one of the greatest blessings of my life has been youtube and youtube would be nothing to me without you all and y'all support. So I wanna thank you for every like, every comment, for watching wig videos, even if you don't wear wigs, just for showing so much support to me. I done talked about different things on the motherhood journey. Some of y'all ain't even thinking about that, but you watch it just to support me. You've been watching my vlogs, like seriously, I would not be in the position that I am without you guys. And I want to say thank you. Thank you for loving me, my family, my baby. Y'all's internet nephews in there cutting up right now. I'm trying to talk on top of it so you won't hear them screaming. But I just wanted to say thank y'all for so much support. Now, like I said, I'm not rich, but when I can do something, I would like to. And so I wanted to do a giveaway. I wanted to tell y'all all the things that I was loving and I wanted that to actually be a preview to something that I wanted to give away. So because y'all know me and that's how a lot of y'all were introduced to me was from hair, I was gonna give away my entire wash day. Like I was just gonna buy it and send it to somebody brand new. But I actually presented the option on Instagram and I was like, 
if I was doing a giveaway, would y'all prefer body or hair stuff? And overwhelmingly, y'all said y'all would prefer body. So if you look down below in the description box, first of all, everything that I have shown y'all today has been linked. If you do show interest in it, in any of it, um, please click the link and shop there. It's no additional cost to you, but it does support my channel. I get a little bit of a kickback. And when I say little, I mean little. But you know, little becomes much, so carry on. So make sure you use those links. But if you look at the links, I've actually divided them into categories, hair, internal, skin, and body. So everything that is listed as a favorite of mine in the body category, I'm going to buy it and send it to one person just as a thank you. And this is something I'm gonna start doing once a quarter, um, just to show you like when the fall comes up, things that I've been loving um, and things like that. And if I can give it away to somebody, I would love for somebody to be able to experience those things. So here is how you enter the giveaway. Number one, be subscribed to my YouTube channel. Number two, you gotta be following me on Instagram at I am Miss Faye. Now, now, I hate to do that because I know realistically some of y'all don't have Instagram but as I've talked about on my community tab on YouTube there's a scam going around where people are saying um, they're pretending to be honey they even use my picture but they'll say you want to give away contact me and I don't want somebody to accidentally get involved in that thinking that they're really talking to me I would never contact you in the comments like that I would never use telegram they're really just using that to try to get your money and I just I don't want somebody to accidentally get to giving out their debit card information thinking that they talking to me so the reality is you have to be connected to me on instagram so that i can coordinate with you to get um your information to ship this to you so be subscribed to my youtube follow me on instagram at i am miss faith leave a comment down below telling me how you found my channel and why you're subscribed and then at, least at the end of the comment say answer me hold on my baby tripping hold on hey man why are you in there doing all that yelling what are the lights too bright? The lights too bright for you, poo poo. But yes, this is my little man. If you haven't seen him in a while, oh, let my hair go. Damn, my big boy. Damn, my big boy. These lights too bright. Let me get them on out of here. Now, where were we? Oh, be subscribed. Follow me on Instagram at I am Miss Faye. Leave a comment down below telling me how you find my channel and what made you stay around. And at the end of the comment, reply, answer me. And um, when do I want to close this? This is going up on the 14th. So entries will close on August 14th, 2022. And I will be looking for someone to support who has been supporting me. Now, I know that a lot of times content creators don't reply to comments. I used to try to reply to everything, but y'all know like the baby I just showed you, he's been taking up the time that I used to use to reply to y'all. But, but I do actually have a visual memory. And even if I don't get to reply, I have seen your comments and I wanna thank y'all. So there's so many of y'all that I actually know by screen name like one vixen one deb you got the braids in your uh your picture uh miss eva bright on instagram i think you got a different name but miss eva bright cook with me um justin and then there's gambella and it's, it's so many people that i actually have gotten to know you just by your screen name and profile picture that i really want to be able to support one of y'all that have been supporting me so again be subscribed, follow me on Instagram, leave a comment on how you found me and what made you stay. And then at the end of the comment, write, answer me. Include your Instagram name because I'm going to contact you on Instagram if you are the winner. And then just for accountability reasons, I will let you all on this channel know who won. So again, thank y'all for supporting me. Thank y'all for being a avenue that has changed my life. I would not be who I am today if it was not for you all's love so I just want to say thank you um, make sure if any of these items interest you you shop down below because those type of things is how I'm able to pay to be able to send somebody some gifts so I appreciate y'all so with that being said I will see y'all very very soon I got a lot of stuff coming up that was delayed just because we had a lot going on and I you know you gotta get stuff approved and all this other stuff child I'll see y'all soon so with that being said if y'all have any questions leave them down below I love y'all Maki Dada and I'm out of here bye now let me go get my child because my husband's been driving him crazy.